so my arms are really hairy and I've put on eight pounds. Eight pounds? I've no. put on seven pounds. <laughs> Together we've put on over a stone. Yeah, but I mean, we're not one person, so no, we've just put on seven and eight pounds respectively. You can't go together, we've done this. What kind of measurement bullshit is that? I actually quite like it. Okay. Kind of like the extra you. Oh. <laughs> What I don't get is, we always work from home, we're always in the house, and if anything, we've been going on longer walks for our one, yeah. what's it called, mandated walk a day. Yeah. We're taking a longer walk. Why is this happening to me? Could it have something to do with the 48 Cadbury's cream eggs and how many packets of months of that you ordered? I don't want to talk about it. I'm upset. I do want to say, I'm growing my hair so I can cut it. Correction, so I can cut yes, it. Yes, Rose is going to cut it. And I dreamt about it last night, we're going to cut bangs. Oh, are we? Are you going to let me give you bangs? Yeah. My hairdresser, I can guarantee, cuts worse than you cut. Thank you. Group hug. Hi guys and welcome back to, what channel is it? What year is it? Where no, are we? Let, let's confess. Right. It? Hi guys and welcome back to the internet today. It's time for another episode of Let's Confess. Now yeah. Rosie has said that there are some bangers in here. Yeah, there's some real bangers. Like going for the submissions is a roller coaster. There's a lot going on there. There's a confession that I really wanted to put in today's show, but I couldn't. Show. Because it was so like graphic. we're professional enough to have a show. Wow, I just wanted to call it a show. Don't worry, I did not professional let right. It was more like, we're professional like, enough. <laughs> We've only been doing it now years. I wish I could do it. There was this girl who wrote an epic confession. She had a threesome. On lockdown. Every single one of them were from a different country. Nice. Right? She was like, I know it's risky, but whatever. Was it Stevie? No, it's not Stevie. Oh, why it's can't we really read it? Graphic. We not get monetized. We really won't. It was two women and a man in the threesome. Yeah. But the man kept getting really aggressive and going out and smoking and being angry. An aggressive man? Yeah. What? Are we starting with that one or no, are we starting no. somewhere else? Right, are there some bangers? The quarantine confession. Ahem. Since I've been in quarantine, I've been masturbating uncontrollably to pass the time. I hate the word masturbating. So do I. If you said touching yourself, that's fine. I just don't, I don't know what it is. But it's it. crass. The other night, I wanted to make things more interesting. So I used my old electric toothbrush as a dildo and came three times. It's interesting to me because we had a confession previously about an electric toothbrush. And I said, but how do they use it? Because, Which end? Right, because I used to have an electric toothbrush. Brush. I'm not gonna lie. I used like the back of it. I put it against me. This woman's actually put bristles inside. Well, it's a different way of flossing, isn't it? I don't like the idea of mixing my dental hygiene with my... With... With your other with hygiene. With other hygiene. Yeah. I think there's a bit of cross-contamination. We're yeah. living in an age where cross-contamination isn't good. Why can't you just have a toothbrush and a dildo? Well, anyway, it worked okay. for her. She okay. came three times. Once I had finished, I went to the toilet to wash my hands and left the toothbrush on my bedside table. When I got back to my room, I completely forgot about it. Later on, my mum came in to say goodnight and saw it sitting there. She stared at it for what felt like forever and left the room. To make matters worse, I followed her out the room and tried to convince her that I just found it in my drawer and something had spilled on it and that I was just wondering if it still worked. She told me she would go to put it on charge in her room, meaning that I would have to give my unwashed dildo brush to my birth giver. I went into her room the next day to get it and saw that she'd cleaned it. Oh. She definitely knew where it'd been, oh. making the situation 10 times oh. more awkward. Now I have to use it as my actual toothbrush to make things less suspicious, even though I already have a perfectly good one, leaving me dildo-less with perfect teeth. The relationship you have with your mum has changed. It'll change forever. It upsets me that the mum came in and stared at it. She knew, and you knew, and what's worse, she knew you knew she knew. And then the lying. When she went, oh mum, I just found it in the drawer, I wanted to see if it worked. <laughs> that made it worse. I would have personally burned the toothbrush. But I would mean, have set me. fire to it. Yes. Sometimes I find that the only way to deal with shame and embarrassment is <laughs> how? Well, for example, one time I found this book that I had where I wrote loads of poems in it. Really? Yeah. And I just set fire to it in my kitchen sink. Oh. My sink went black, but I was like, it was a good day. The poetry book no longer exists. That's a shame. We I wrote a lot of poems. Rosie, we would have like 12 months worth of content I if we know! had that. Rosie, I'm sorry, you can't promote fire as being the ultimate way to get over it's things. It's cleansing. Fire cleanses things. Okay, I don't think I'd be able to move forward with that level of embarrassment. It's like the time I know my dad heard that Skype sesh we had. I yeah. know we've never discussed Why? it we don't need to and I believe that everybody should be discreet why were you being loud to show off for me or were you actually into it no to show off to him <laughs> I want to add something, okay? I have read too many people using electric toothbrushes. It works though. As a way to get off. Does it My, work? Yes. The girth on that, that big. I don't know if it works internally, but it works externally. Vibrating or anything doesn't, just doesn't. Ah, oh, it works for me. Really? The problem is. I find is, it too much. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's too much. But the thing is you build up a tolerance and then human touch feels like, you're like, sorry, where's the robot sex? So you have to wean yourself off it like a drug. Next 
next one. So my girlfriend and I have decided to quarantine with each other. Nice. We've been having so much sex because let's just be real. What else is there to do in a pandemic? Well, I've been eating. Yeah, there's also food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess this is the like unmarried, married version. Okay. <laughs> loads of sex, loads of food and weight gain. Like, uh, you know, I'm fine with my dis- I'm fine with my choice. Maybe that's how we'll burn it off. With fire? It's been amazing. I mean, some of the best sex. Right, no need to show off. <laughs> Braggers. Braggers. We've been keeping it interesting by trying all kinds of different positions and kinks. We literally searched the internet for, quote, mind-blowing lesbian sexual positions. Did we come up on your search? Ah! <laughs> roll today, a roll. No, that's my rolls. <laughs> and came across a site that has 34 different positions. I can think of a variation of seven. Think of t 27. We've done 23 of them in seven days. Nice. Right, do the math for me, Rose. 23 divided by seven. Four point something. Is that true? I don't know. I feel so naughty, but fuck it, we're having a blast. Until last night. We skipped over this one originally. We decided to revisit it. Okay. Number 12, defying gravity. I should have known. Do you need moon boots? Here's the description they give. Okay. If you're really feeling ambitious, have your partner sit in a chair or on a couch. I notice you're on a couch. Facing away from them, kneel, straddling them. Oh, okay, so you're looking at the camera. Yeah. Bend okay. over so your hips are in the air and touch your hands to the ground for support. Now now they have all access for oral sex and you're about to get one hell of a head rush. Do you want to try it? Yes. Right, Neil that's it. Straddling. That's it. Now watch the microphone. Yeah. That's it. What does it say? Get on the floor, you dirty bitch. That's it. I think it's the... It's that. Wow. Quite a view, isn't it? I mean... That is quite a view. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Babe, that, yeah. it's been like one second, I've got a massive head rush. That's how really can good. You do that? I can't breathe. Babe, how can you sustain that for my minimum of 30 <sighs> minutes that I need? Sorry, no offense, but fuck off. So they decided to do it on a bed, which reminds me of the time we tried to do yoga on a live stream, but we used a bed, not a flat surface, and it was really difficult. Problematic, right? yeah. So anyway, so we're trying to get in position, and the whole time we're just cracking up, but really trying to nail it. And can I say, I think I just nailed it. Uh, honestly, I think we practically had intercourse. Yeah. Finally, we get it comfortably, or to our liking anyways, and we're getting into it. Nice. My ass is literally in the air with my hands on the mattress. I'm crying laughing just thinking about it. We're seriously getting into it. And all of a sudden, my girlfriend shifts her weight a bit forward. I notice she's also briefly stops supporting me with her arms. I'm never gonna let her live this down. All of a sudden, I'm falling forward and end up doing a somersault off the bed and onto the floor. I land directly on my back without being able to brace myself. I immediately get the wind knocked out of me and feel a jolt go down my back. I'm laying on the floor, naked body and all, just staring up at my girlfriend, who I can tell is forcibly trying to hold back her laughter. Did she die? I was pissed. Not only did she cause me to fall, but now she has the audacity to laugh. I slowly got up, which I could tell she thought was funny too, put my robe on and refused to continue. Now she's <laughs> pleading for forgiveness through tears of laughter. Babe, I can't help it, which only pisses me off more until I eventually had to crack a smile and chuckle to myself. I would have laughed at my partner if they fell and then you would have got really upset and angry at me because that's what happens if Rosie hurts herself she like, laughs superficially hurts herself no I don't mean to laugh no it's my natural it's not superficial first even response. if an I really hurt myself no that's not you true. laugh at me and then I go why are you laughing which makes her laugh more but it makes me really angry this girl says it's pretty funny I guess lol fast forward to this morning my back's still killing me I'm making her give me a back massage until it feels better safe to say I won't be trying that one again that's what we get for being such whores I guess I mean my initial thoughts were was God such whores, honestly. But also, I think it's great. They are using their lockdown period in a really productive way. I want to Google what they Googled. Mm. There it is, number one, Cosmopolitan. But that woman hasn't, what? That woman's just rubbing a flannel on her stomach. Yeah, what does that mean? It looks like they're both farting. Yeah, what, what is, what is Also, that? they've got a bum, but no orifices. What? They're not even touching each other. Exactly. They're masturbating alone separately. This is not mind blowing what, what lesbian is this sex. One? Stevie Bobby would be so upset. This, this one looks like she's put a sanitary towel on her stomach. Mm. Like, what is that? Oh, that's, now, that's just where I can get a board with. That's just called going down on a woman. These are not <laughs> interesting or Ooh, any. That one's interesting. That's interesting. Should I look to number 12, see if we did it right? Yeah, go on then. Oh! Yeah, we did it no, right. No, we did it wrong. Yes! No, no, we did it right. How has she got lipstick on? Yeah, sorry, I know. But sorry. that's not going to stay on very right? long. Right? Right? Okay. I had a rough time in school with my sexuality. I went to a Jewish school and it wasn't accepted back then. Most people I had on social media from my school constantly got is a lesbian on that arm. FM. It was all over social media. Rumours went round. It knocked me on a huge downward spiral. Aww. Everybody knew before I even knew. <sighs> it's like I Lauren Hareki. <laughs> 
No, she knew. she knew. I didn't even know what gay meant until one day it clicked. In year nine, I got picked on by this girl in year 11 because I didn't want to go out with her friend's brother. She then started more rumours, got me alone and shouted at me in front of her whole friend group. Would whisper as she walked past me in the corridors. Whisper she, what? She added to my hell. I'm now 21 and I've just seen her with her girlfriend. Oh, shocker. In your reacting to gay TikTok video. Mm -hmm. That's the best confession we've ever had. Are you kidding? No. Who? Name and shame. We've only done a few gay TikTok videos. We've done two of them. So wow. She's one of them. You naughty little bitch. What if it's someone I like? What if it's Marth? Forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> that is insane. I know, right? So she's TikTok famous now. Yeah, even with her girlfriend. Was, even though she was a little cow. But we made her TikTok famous. Of course. That shook me to my chorus. I'm upset, actually, oh, on her behalf. Like, that must really sting. Imagine if it was one of the Lundies. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet it's both of them. <gasps> so I met this girl on a night out, and she was honestly stunning. And then she leaned in and kissed me, and I was like, oh, shit, she's gay. I ended up going back to hers, and I was on my period, oh. so I just fucked her. And afterwards, straight away, she was like, I need to be sick. And I thought she would go to the bathroom. No, it gets bad, it gets bad, it's so good, right? And I thought she would go to the bathroom, but no, she just leaned over the side of her bed and threw up on the floor. And I was shook. I didn't know how to respond. I stayed with her for a bit to make sure she was okay when she told me it was her birthday. <laughs> And I was so awkward, I didn't know how to respond, so I started singing happy birthday to her. Then I got up to leave, and straight away I slipped in the vomit and fell over. It was mortifying. What do I do? Do I ask her out again? When I say this girl was hot, she was honestly like so next level hot. Please help me, what should I do? Okay, this was... There's a lot to unpack. Yeah, that's a lot. Also, why didn't she get to the bathroom? I assume there was no time. And then it was randomly her birthday. I wonder if that was a lie. Oh, I do we not she was trust, sick. Do we not trust her? Well, I just wonder if she was sick and then felt so embarrassed. <laughs> I knew that the birthday. girl was gonna go, that she was like, like, oh, it is my birthday. That's a really weird thing to say yeah. to cover up embarrassment. For instance, if you put that in the context of, oh, my mum's just found my electric toothbrush, which is clearly a dildo, to say, mum, it's my birthday, yeah, wouldn't exactly. work. No. Whereas here it works. Or mm. that's always the option, or fire. Of course, of course. Right. Sorry, I didn't even think. Right. Of course, this right. fire. Well, if she's really as hot as you say she is, like, you know, no brainer. Like. No, I think you should go for it because I think it's a fantastic first like date sexual experience story that you can then make a YouTube channel about. Yeah, absolutely. I would base my entire career off at that moment. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, you pooed yourself, my you pooed yourself on Valentine's Day, and yeah. that got us quite far on YouTube, didn't it? Telling that story. So I really think that you should continue with the relationship. Don't slip in anyone's Why vomit. Why don't you just vomit back? That's a crazy story. I know. That's so good, right? People get themselves into such fucked up situations. I live for it. I Honestly, know. I live for it. I know. So how about this confession? I had a thing for one of my colleagues. I'm 23 and she is 40. Ooh. She's also married to a man and has kids. Okay. We never slept together. Okay. We just made out a few times. Really? And acted very inappropriate at work. <sighs> All day at work we flirted and touched each other every time we got the chance. Fuck, that's hot. After work, we texted and sent nudes almost every day. I feel bad for her husband a little bit here. So do I. Uh, her kids I feel bad for. After a while, the worst happened. I started to really like her. Yeah. Then I found out that she was sleeping with another other man at work. Oh, she's a real loose I mean, cannon, that, that isn't, she? Horny, isn't she? Wow. When I told her I knew about her and the other guy at work, she got so mad and denied everything. Trust yeah. me, I know for sure it's true that she's sleeping with that guy. She was so mad at me for months. She started to be really manipulative and made me feel bad for things that weren't my fault. She's a keeper. She controlled me badly for months. I finally realized that she just played with my feelings from the beginning and I'm so glad I'm out of that crazy and toxic environment. Now I just laugh every time I see her at work because I know that she's such a bitch and Probably a psychopath. Everyone at work knows that she's cheating and I'm just waiting for her husband to find out. I got it. Kill her with fire. Or just set a fire at work. She sounds like a real bitch. She's got nothing good to offer anyone in what? this life. But also, 23-year-old lesbian can't really be angry. I know, she's you like, know, she's like, like yeah. everyone knows she's cheating. It's, it's like, like yeah, you, you yeah, also you are so cheating. Yeah, still cheating. You know? Even if you're a woman. You know? Pick better people to fuck, I think, is the overarching... Oh, I wish someone had told me that when I was young. What just like saying? my mum, maybe. I wish... No, not you. I just wish someone had said that at the beginning. Didn't I say that to you when I first met you? Oh, was it like our second date on Valentine's Day? You're talking about when you call me chief on Valentine's Day. You owe me a lot of Valentine's Day. You owe me a lot in general. Do I? Should we go there? No, what's he doing? <laughs> Sometimes I say things like that to make you think you've done something Do when actually I'm you haven't. I'm not defying gravity with you later anymore. Why? Why did you say that? Okay, Rosie, I was only joking. We don't have to get all serious. God, what are you, some kind of woman with emotions? 
All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode of Let's Confess. I want to hear what you're doing in quarantine to pass the time. And if you can make sketches. Can you do the defying gravity? Let's make that I challenge. I did it wrong. I want to do it later tonight. Okay, well, then we will. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget, it's always best not to touch people in 2020 unless you're in lockdown and you're trying number 12. Interesting. Bye!